right guys welcome back so I'm going to start taking these tags out of the pages so we can decorate them only the ones well no because I kind of need to take all of them out so I can sew the signatures in let me grab my stuff real quick so this is cotton thread and the needles Bloop, there and that's it um well I don't really have a pokey tool it's not over here it's over there why are you not closing okay that was weird anyway um I'm gonna take these tags and such out because right now it's a little fat and if I try to sew the signatures in like this it's not going to sit right like literally it won't sit right uh, so we're gonna take all these tags and such back out and hopefully we can remember where the, they all go but I mean they all kind of match so that's one of the great things so I think some of them look better in other places if that makes sense um, ooh, hello. My box made noises up there. It like shifted or something. It startled me. So anyway, how are you guys doing this morning? Hope you're having a good Wednesday morning. Alright. Almost done taking everything out. There's about as much extra stuff as there is actual pages in this book, which is hilarious to me. Alright. Okay, so I'm actually really quite curious as to how many tags I just took out of this thing. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Maybe we won't put them all back. I don't know. Oh my gosh, that is a lot. Alright, so... Let's get this situated. this one first. You don't have to use the giant clips. You can use like pretty much whatever you have. Uh, I've got some smaller ones here. Oh well. That's not going to work. Um, I don't think the super tiny ones are going to work for this because they only open so far. But these little medium sized ones should be fine. So let's see here. And flip it over, push it into the corner. And I've heard that people have, um, on Etsy, they have these, like, docks, if you will. I'm not sure what they're called, but they basically make uh, punching holes into your book a lot easier because you can just, like, set this down and it sits into this thing just like this. So, I'm going to grab my empty little thing soon as I find it. Um, it's like back here somewhere. Oh, I'm gonna have to get up. Where are you punching my thing? There you are. I see you. Okay, so uh, I've had this for a minute. I think this actually came with um, an acne kit, if you can believe it. Um, and it just never got used so I stole it um, I mean I bought it to begin with but I stole it okay 
So we're just going to go kind of in the middle here and punch a hole right there. See me? Right there. Boop. And then I'm going to come back out and go about, I'd say, two-ish inches. I want to get about an inch or two from the top. Um, and then we're going to do the same thing on the bottom. And you can see I do like perfect measurements here. It's all about the eyeball and a guess. That's that's what it is. So I'm done with this. Just gonna throw this back in my little cubby hole over there. I've um drink. I have a um it's actually a bathroom organizer, a uh, toothbrush organizer. And I found it at Tuesday morning. Um, I don't know. It was like before I stopped going out. <laughs> um, or maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was like one of the first times that I went out after all of this stuff happened. Anyway, I found it at Tuesday morning. And that's actually what I have my clips into my paper clips and binder clips and all this uh, is also the same thing and let's see what else do I have that's from that little set um, oh I got two of the organizers I was like I thought I got more than that but I did. That is way too big. How much that work? Okay. All right. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. It's been a minute since I've done a journal. The last book that I did was an altered book. All right. So. I go in this way, then go back out that way, then we're tying on the outside. So I want to tie on, I think I want to tie on the inside, so let's do that. Okay. And I've left my clips on. Um, I know some take them off. I find it a lot easier to sew if they're still on. And of course, now that I say that, I'm going to have issues. Oh, nope. I don't know. Come back. Come back, tail. back in this way. I think I split the thread here on the metal when I went back through the metal because it I can feel it. Which I mean it's not a bad thing. It's just not it's not gonna move quite as much as you'd want it to. Alright. So I just pulled this through that side up here. And we're gonna tie a knot. I'm gonna pull it you don't want to pull it too much because you don't want to break your thread and you don't want to rip the pages out of your book. Hey, get off. Okay. You can use wax thread. Um, you can use all kinds of stuff. So now our book is completely bound. So we can take these off now. Uh, this one actually does not go in my cup. It goes right here. 
these guys go in my cup. And we can um, find some charms or something to put in the middle. Not sure. Um, we could just leave it blank. I mean, and let the owner put a charm or something on there. Like if they have the perfect charm to go with it. I think that would be really cool. So we'll cut these around the same lengths, and that's it. And hopefully all the pages are in the right direction. Normally you should check that before you sew them in, not after. So there we go. Oh, that is so cool. Ah, come back. And so even though all the cards aren't in there yet, this is a pretty, pretty journal. If I do say so myself, look at that. Oh, so pretty. Okay, so let's start adding some cards. So we already have this one in here, and I don't think I'm going to do anything with this one because it lays really nicely flat. It's got a nice writing on the back, and you can still see the butterfly. So I think I'm going to leave that one. Um, let's find let's find a few that don't necessarily need a lot of additional items because this is pretty chunky as it is. Actually, let's see if we can find one that has a nice good back on it. Oh, that's a card. Um, there's another card. There we go. Ah, there we go. That's what I wanted. Okay. And then Oh, let's add Like this one doesn't have a a thing thing to it. So we can add that and there. Perfect. So I don't know that I'm going to add the ribbons and such again because it's just so bulky as it is. Um, I love this page and I love the sound of it. It is just so cool. Uh, let's see. Um, what do I want to put here? You know, we could put some of these pages from here in there. Let's see what that looks like. Um, I'm just folding this here and then I'm going to tear it. Hopefully, but it's really old fibrous paper, so um, it's not like super fragile, which is really cool, especially from being from 1830. Like, I mean, what? Oh no! 
But I mean, you guys have seen me tear this like a bunch and it's not fragile at all. I'll check that out. Okay. That's cool. Yes, please. All right. So we'll leave that one and we'll grab a couple extra pages just in case. And then I'm going to put the book away because it is kind of big. I'll have to ask Eve what this book was. Well, I mean, I guess it still is technically. I'm just kind of ripping some pages out of it. Um, I think that'll be it for now. I don't even think we'll need all of those, to be honest with you. But it's on the side just in case. All right, so that takes out some of the bulk and it gives the buyer an extra piece of this yummy paper. which I think is really cool because it's really pretty for one. Like that is really pretty. Um, let's see. Want to add, I do want to add something to these. So let's go to our flowers, but we're going to alter them a little bit, I think. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think those go, so let's not do that. Um, let's see. What do I want to do the hair? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I'll put you in there. Make sure the writing is good on the back. Uh, we don't necessarily have to put anything here because what? Oh, um, because it is indicate indicated that it is a pocket there. Um, so let's try see what happens if we leave those empty. I don't know how it's going to help the chunky part, but I don't even know if you guys like chunky journals. Like, do you like chunky journals? I like chunky journals. They're fun. Here's the twine. Well, it's not twine. It's, I don't really know what it's called. Uh, there's another one here. And I think that would look really cool because there's one on that side too. All right. Guess it would help if you guys could see what I'm doing. You know, just a, just a smidge. here and I really really like this because it's got the the rose sitting on the book up here I love that um, let's see And that. 
do it this way, actually. Like a fool. And then both sides are actually decorated. Like that. Skip that one. This one. This might match better. Okay. You know, it's funny as I feel like I've already done this, but <laughs> um, because we're trying to filter the tags just a little bit, I get to do it all over again. I think I kind of like just that though. Okay. Oh, there's another one of these. could probably also use a tear roller. <clears throat> I bet that would work just fine with these uh, papers. And if whoever buys this happens to speak German, you can tell me what the book is about. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Get one that's a little more plain because the card is very decorative. And then same thing here. Could actually use this card. that okay. and then the last one here we can do oh that one's nice I like that perfect all right oh and that is still very chunky and we cut out a good half of the tags. Okay, so that actually worked out really well. Um, the buyer is still getting a ton of tags, uh, but they're also getting a little bit more manageable of a journal. <laughs> Just a smidge. It's not quite as chunky as my last one, <laughs> but hopefully, I think that means I might be getting the hang of, you know, proportion here. I mean, I am dealing with proportion every day of my life with like my foods and such. You would think that I would take those same lessons and <laughs> apply them to my journals, but nope, not at all. All right. <clears throat> so anyway, this is the finished Tsunami Rose Journal. So like I said, there are um, a Charming Fragments and um, a Life of Bloom in this journal. So, oh man, I think this turned out really, really cute. So I'm actually going to do a separate video that is, um, <clears throat> excuse me, that is the complete total flip through and that'll be for the listing on Etsy. Um, there'll be a link in the listing for the flip through. So that way it's just a completely separate video. Um, but yeah, this was a lot of fun. I actually have no idea what I'm going to do next because, um, like a lot of the stuff that I have to do has to do with the shop 
and I don't really do videos necessarily for that. Um, but I don't know what I'm going to do next. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any suggestions or ideas, let me know. Um, this today is Monday and you're seeing this on Wednesday. So I will most likely have a video or two up before you guys have your suggestions up. Um, but yeah, I'm really interested in what you guys want to see. So let me know. And, uh, yeah. Anyway, thank you guys. I know this is a really short video, but you'll also have a separate bonus video of the complete flip through of this journal. So, um, I just want to say thank you guys so much for joining me in the process of this. It was a lot of fun. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys.